Sci class. All right, this video is going to help you more with that topic six homework. This one's going to be like number six, or it's going to be like any problem that asks you to find what percent of these students are or what percentage of are satisfying something. Okay, so the problem here, we have the heights of eight students in a seminar are given by 65, 72, 62, 68, 72, 66. 61, 66, 70. What is the percentage of these students who are shorter than 65 inches? Okay, so when you approach a problem like this, you're given a list of data and you wanna find the percentage of something. So the percentage shorter than something, percentage taller than something, percentage less than, percentage greater than, you're going to follow this strategy. Okay, so when we're doing this, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna list all of our data in order, just so we can kind of see what um, is happening with our data. And we wanna know how many people are shorter than 65 inches. So we need to make sure we put it in order so we can see how many values are less than 65. You can do this without sorting it, uh, but sorting it is a good strategy when you are starting out on these problems. Okay, so I'm gonna take all my values and I'm gonna sort them. So I've got 61, 62, 65, 66, 68, 70, and then 72. Um, we didn't have repeats here, but if we did have repeats, you'd write as many of the repeats as you had. So if you had 70, 70, you'd write 70, 70 in your list. So you'd write your repeats as well. Okay, so you're going to list everything in order. You're going to make sure you've established everything. And here I cross my values out as I go, specifically because I tend to miss some. So just like this, I miss that 72. So make sure you cross them all out find a system that helps you. You can also double check your list. We should have eight items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're good to go now. Okay, so we're gonna list everything in order. We're gonna make sure we have all of our items. Then we're gonna look to see what the question's asking us. We wanna find who is shorter than 65 inches. So we're gonna go to our handy dandy list and we're gonna pull out all the values that are less than 65. This is where you need to also bring in your English and your math. So the wording of the math problem, we want shorter than and not equal to. So it didn't say shorter than or equal to, it said strictly shorter than. So we're not going to include the 65. We want everything less than 65, not including the 65. So that means we're looking at 61. Let me circle these. We're looking at 61 and 62. So we can't have 65 because we want strictly shorter than 65, and then we can't have anything greater than 65. So all these other values are out. Okay, so we found out how many people are shorter than 65 inches. So now we need to find out the percentage. Okay, so you're gonna count how many people qualify. We've got two values that are less than 65. So we got two. And then we're gonna divide that by our total number of points we're given. We were given eight total student heights. We had eight items in our list. Two of them are shorter than 65. So I'm going to take two divided by eight. And then since I want this to be a percentage, I want that percent symbol. I'm going to go ahead and break out my calculator and I'm going to take two divided by eight in my calculator. Gives me 0.25 and then convert that to a percentage, 25%. So then 25% would be your final answer. So 25% of the students in this list are shorter than 65 inches. Um, so when you're doing these problems, so step one, list them in order from least to greatest. Step two, figure out what are you looking for? Count how many of those you have, divide by your total. This should feel very similar to kind of the strategies we use with probability. Count how many satisfy what you want, divide by your total. All right, I hope this helps. Let me, let me know if you guys have any questions.